This uh, box was sent to me by a very nice lady from California and um, well look what is inside. Inside the box there is 12 color soft pencils by Derwent. I have been coloring with these pencils although I do not own them but my niece my lovely niece who loves drawing and coloring and arts too, she has a set. So sometimes I uh, use hers. And I'm very, very happy with um, this set of 12 because now I can test them a little bit more, a little bit more and make a, make a little review about uh, them. But there's more. There is a complete set of Erogiton pencils and these were on my wish list. Now they come in boxes like this. This is look 7, 8 and 9. And I have all the little boxes here. I'll show you. Now the other boxes they also come in the in a box with th where the three are packed in but I took them out look at this this looks so beautiful so in total there are nine of these uh, oh they're upside down <laughs> there are nine of these boxes and uh, And I will open one, you can see, lovely box. I think the Erogiton pencils are one of the most beautiful pencils just to look at. They are quite hard, but I fell in love with the colors and I have a feeling that there is a huge potential in these uh, in these pencils that very few people know about so I'm going to test these thoroughly I already have a set I have a set of 30 I have this one now I have this one two times so I'm planning on doing a giveaway because I don't need extra pencils when I have a complete set of Erogiton there are 90 pencils in total in this beautiful Erogiton set but there is more in the box I'm really really very spoiled I'm making a lot of noise but uh, I'm sorry this is a pencil brand from Germany in English you would say Lyra but I think the Germans would say Lyra and let's see if I can open it. I have been doing a little bit of testing. As you can see, these uh, pencil sets, the former owner, this nice lady from California, she has used it already. And uh, I am so happy that I, uh, I can adopt them now. And I did a little bit of coloring with these uh, these pencils, and I I knew they were out there, but I've never used them before, and they are actually a very happy surprise so far. So I will do a review about them too. And there's more in the box. Incredible. This is something that um, I would never buy myself, Derwent Ink Tents. My niece has them, so I know a little bit how they work. And this is so much, so much fun about receiving gifts. You get into contact with stuff you, would, you wouldn't choose yourself. So... This, these ink tense pencils, 
they work like a watercolor pencil but um, these colors become permanent as soon as you put water to them and then when it dries it becomes permanent and uh, it, it is said that you can even work on fabric and well that is very exciting so I'm going to test uh, these too very nice Very nice, 24, goodness gracious. Then there is even more. These 12 metallic pencils, also by Derwent. Oh, they are a bit. Uh, look at these Derwent metallic. It is said that uh, these pencils work very well on colored paper like black paper and as you can see you can uh, they are water soluble water soluble do I say that right so uh, that's interesting does it say that it is yeah water soluble very very interesting and then there is a last thing in the box, something else I would never ever have dreamed of buying. Now these are only five of Karandash Neo Color Water Soluble Wax Pastel. And I just did a little just scribbling about and there are only these couple of colors. And I immediately fell in love. I think I can do great things with these. So I will have to uh, check this out. Let's uh, do some testing. And uh, this time I thought it would be nice to use a different coloring book than the Joanna Besford books because there are so many other beautiful coloring books and this particular one Dowdle Doodles of the National Parks I gave I received it also as a gift I received so many gifts this is another beautiful one and this is a very nice uh, coloring book and this coloring book can really help you to uh, find your way with colored pencil because the original piece of art the original painting is over here and that can help you to get a feel of shading highlights choice of colors and uh, this particular uh, drawing is about Sequoia National Park and uh, I have uh, my husband and I have visited a couple of uh, America's and Canada Canada's national parks and we also visited Sequoia National Park so I'm going to test my my new erogeton pencils my adopted pencil children in this uh, drawing Let's give it a go. Let's start with this uh, big sequoia tree. There is no... Uh, is it General Sherman or... Those trees all have a name. Yes, the Sherman Tree Trail. So I believe this will be General Sherman Tree. I'm going to use this yellow dandelion. And I am going to put it everywhere because I also want to see of course how these pencils layer now I have a set of 30 but I've never done a complete drawing or you know I always combined them with different pencil brands now the temperatures are quite high in the Netherlands right now and that has its effect on pencils 
because the core of the pencils becomes softer as they become warmer. So I think these uh, erogeton pencil behave a little bit softer than they normally do. So I'll need to keep that in mind. This gorgeous color is called bamboo. The colors in uh, these erogeton series are well, they seem, they look unique, but I, I have to, I'm going to investigate how unique they actually are. But the way they are arranged in the little boxes make them look extremely beautiful. This um, set of pencils does have a lot of what I call crossover colors. So, you know, a yellow that has a bit of pink in it, or a yellow that's a bit of orange in it, or a yellow that has a bit of brown in it. Same goes for the blues with a bit of gray, or a bit of green, or a touch of purple. Or So, a color is never just the basic color. Well, there are, there are also in the set, but many of these crossover. They are somewhere in between two or sometimes even three colors, which makes them very interesting. It's late in the evening already, the sun is uh, about to set, but you know, today was so hot that I'm glad that I finally can do something. It was just too hot to do anything. And uh, then this very, very beautiful thunderstorm came, uh, came in, and the temperatures dropped up more than 10 degrees chestnut brown so now I can uh, do some coloring if you want to see something of that thunderstorm then you should watch uh, episode number 12 of uh, this the magical jungle series about how I create a night scene backgrounds that is the series with the tiger and in episode 12 which I recorded this afternoon you will hear some uh, beautiful thunders because that storm was hitting when I was uh, recording So far, so good. The layering goes well. I do have a feeling that these erogeton pencils benefit from the higher temperatures. And they are quite subtle. I think there is not the amount of pigment that is in it is not as high as uh, Karandash, for example, or also uh, Faber Castell and Prismacolor. But I believe you can do fantastic, subtle drawing with these pencils 
So that is why I'm so grateful for these uh, erogitants to come to me because, um, yeah, I would like, I would love to uh, to test it. This is autumn leaf. The names of the pencils also so beautiful. That white, the white on the pencil, and then. Beautiful names, autumn leaf. There is an interesting thing in these uh, erogitum pencils. As far as I have seen, there is only one grey pencil. There are greyish tones, but not the grey pencils like the cold greys and the warm greys and the French greys and the Payne's greys. They are not here. That's interesting. Let's uh, try that uh, flag. What does it say? I don't know what is this in the look here. In the original one, there's text California Republic. That's interesting. Let's try this one, crimson, but it's a very brownish red, a light touch. I gave the pencils a very sharp point before I started coloring and testing because I think that will help to, uh, will help these pencils to perform well. And let's try another red. This is a very bright red. This is not a crossover color. This is plain red. Cherry, cherry red. It is almost too dark now for uh, recording, so I fear that I need to stop. And I'm I'm so happy that I can finally color, you know, the heat on the last couple of days. It was just, I couldn't record anything. So annoying. I love warm weather, but uh, here, forest green, because underneath that there is a bit of green. And let's pick another green. These are all crossover greens, moss green. There's a touch of brown in this. Lovely. Just drying different strokes now circling which I don't think that fits these pencils on this particular paper and this is a very interesting color maple sugar let's use that for that bear touch of it. Well, I think this... Uh, is it a brown bear or a black bear? I, be I mean, is it a grizzly bear or a black bear?
we've seen both. Cherry red again. We saw a, um, that was in Yellowstone National Park, a grizzly mom with the two cups. Very, very nice. But I was uh, glad that they were uh, uh, not too close. <laughs> and we also uh, encountered a couple of uh, black bears. Here's crimson again. Black bears, we saw them uh, in Sequoia National Park, actually. We saw one. We saw in uh, Yosemite. And a huge one, really a huge black bear. I believe it was in Canada, yes. A huge black bear. This is an interesting color, lettuce green. That huge black bear was in Banff National Park. Goodness, that one was big. And this one is cinnamon. This is from the series that I already owned. So there are 30 erogedon pencils that I already had and used. Now I have... So now I have 30 pencils that... Uh, I think I will make uh, turn into a giveaway, you know. I'm sure there's somebody uh, out there who would love to have a set of 30 erogeton pencils. So I would love to give them away to someone who would benefit from enjoying drawing, coloring, Here is a chestnut brown. Just like to see if I can give this little bear a little more structure by adding a touch of shadow. I really don't know if that is in the original flag, but uh, I just like it. I'm thinking, how does a bear walk? I need to check that out. I know there are animals that walk like this, but I think this is wrong. I think when the bear steps forward with his left, with his right front leg, then he will also place his left front leg forward. So I think I have to change something, but I should, I need to figure that out. I need to uh, look at a couple of uh, videos with bears walking. So here's the original. And this is my first uh, attempt. Well, I really need to stop now. I'm very sorry about that, but it is really getting dark. So I will continue, hopefully in the morning. I would love that. So take another look at this one and I say uh, good night. It is night here. I'm uh, off for some sleep and uh, well, See you in the morning. Bye-bye.